The system in this house is geothermal, where we get the energy to heat and cool this building out of the earth. Now we've already got heat pumps down in the basement right here, another one on the top floor, and you can see the ductwork has been run. We've also run lines between the heat pumps and where the wells come in. Jamie Shimataro and his crew's done the heat pump installation. Hey Jamie, good hey, morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So what do you got left to do? So what we have left is the final connections at the foundation. Okay. These lines go out to the geothermal boreholes. Right. So this one's been done it looks like, right? Yep, this one's okay. all done. And these are the final connections okay. here. Now these are glued? They're not glued. They're actually heat fused. Okay. Uh, what we have here is um, you have a pipe and a fitting. Right. And what we'll do is we'll melt them together. Superheat them and then yep. bring them together? And the, it becomes one. Great. And that should last for a long time, right? Long time. Good. All right. You ready to go? Yep. All right. I'm I'll step have Melanie come over and give me a hand doing this fusion. All right. First, we prep the pipe using the chamfer tool. That cleans the front edge and gives us the correct spacing. A cold ring keeps the pipe from melting too far from the connection. We use a special iron to heat the elbow coupling in the pipe. 20 seconds later, we put the fitting on the pipe. You can see right here are two pairs of lines that come from our wells to our mechanical space back here. And we have two wells. One's 450 feet deep and the other's 300. The larger well is going to come over to right here and connect to our first floor geothermal heat pump. Now the first floor has got a lot more space to be heated or cooled so the unit is bigger. Those lines come right down here, and the bottom section right down here is the actual heat pump itself. That'll extract energy from the ground and deliver it to the building to be heated, or it'll take heat out of the building and dump it to the ground to be cooled. Above it is an air handler. The air handler has a blower in it which pushes air up across a heat exchanger, out through the ductwork, and to the first floor through all the registers. That air that's up in the first floor has to come back through a return right here there's a filter right here, it'll just keep circulating around. Now remember, this heat pump doesn't have any combustibles in it, it doesn't have gas or an oil burner. It just has the heat pump to heat or cool, and it has an electrical backup just in case. Now on the second floor, this is the geothermal heat pump, and instead of having this big air handler on top of it, we've actually split it apart and put that air handler and all its related ductwork up in the attic, and we've connected between the two using refrigerant line sets like this. All right, guys, we've got ductwork done. We've got all the pipes connected. What do we need? We're getting cold in here. We need to put this heat pump on. Well, this system isn't going to work unless there's antifreeze in the loop. The antifreeze is what moves the heat from the ground into the heat pump. Right. We use this special cart uh, that has a reservoir. We pour the antifreeze into here, and then we use these pumps on the wall to introduce it into the pipe. Trying to flush all the air out and replace it with glycol. Right. The air comes out, antifreeze right. goes Good. in. You ready to go now? We're ready. I'm out of the way. Let's go. The flush cart is connected to the supply and the return lines. It's important to get all the air out of the system, otherwise there could be an air lock. The fluid goes all the way down into the well and eventually back up to the heat pump. All right, guys, we set to go? Uh, we have to let this flush for two hours. Then we have to move it to, over to the other well right, and flush that for two more hours. Um, the flushing gets out all the little bubbles and also mixes the antifreeze. All right, so once that's all done, are you ready to just fire it up? Uh, no, not quite. We need the electrician to make all his connections and put up the thermostats. Okay. And after that, the homeowners will have a highly efficient heating and cooling system powered by the ground. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to seeing it fire up, and thank you for all your great work. It's a great-looking system. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.